I, you're going to see just a little bit of me and a whole lot more of something that's long enough to do. Sorry. If you see my hand there for a minute, it just is what it is. We're working with what I have space-wise in my bathroom. If you remember, several months ago, I did a review on another washer. And while it worked really, really good, um, I inadvertently broke it. Um, yes, it had a warranty on it. Um, could I have probably gotten it warrantied? Maybe. I was at fault. So no, I did not try to warranty it. Um, however, some very, very, very wonderful people chose to bless me with a replacement washer, even though I told them I really don't need it, need it. Um, it just is something, you know, I do the small loads that are up here, um, like my wash rags and things of that nature, and I let them air dry. So, um, they decided, thank you to all of you, um, they decided to bless me with the new washer right away. The, and I know you can't see me because, yeah, here I am. I'm sitting on the edge of the tub, so yeah, here we go. Right away when this arrived, I noticed something different. Number one, the other one was made in China. This was not. Okay, you can take that for what it's worth. I prefer products that were made. This is a cost wave. I can't remember what the other one was. Now, to say that the reason why that one broke was because of where it was made, I cannot say that because I'm guilty. I basically baptized it. As you can see, well, maybe you can see. Let me move this down a little bit. As you can see, it's in my tub. So basically what happened with the other one, I was multitasking, which is not something that I do really, really well. Um, but as I was going about my daily things that needed to be done, um, part of it was washing out some seed trays. And I always bring them into this bathroom if I can't get them outside because I have a very, I have a drain in this tub that catches everything to include all of my hair when I take a shower. So without thinking, I brought them in here, washed them as I was doing laundry and I inadvertently, in my opinion, we never did figure it out. It just stopped working and my wonderful husband was not able to fix it. Um, we did put it out on the curb. Um, someone did pick it up. Hopefully they can fix it and use it. That being said, let's get back to what we're talking about. This is a cost way. Again, I can't remember what the brand is. Um, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll link the video to the other one below. But this is what some wonderful people um, decided to bless me with. And it functions pretty much the same as the other one did, except it's much sturdier. That's one thing that I did notice that it is, it is built a lot more sturdy. Um, it, I, I tend to, like, I soak my clothes, like my towels, like my wash rags. Um, I use several wash rags a day. Um, so I just kind of put them in there, add some hot water, where did it go? Hang on. Sometimes I use a little bit of detergent. Most of the time I put a little bit of this in there. Peroxide. Because I'm sensitive to smell. That's just a little something that, yeah, we'll throw out there. Um, I make my own detergent and it works beautifully in here. Uh, but to just, like right now my wash rags are soaking. Um, I'm going to I'm going to let this rinse water out before I actually put anything into it because yeah 
it's I, I went on vacation and before I went on vacation I did not catch all the laundry up so yeah that's where that is however we're gonna give you just a little bit of sorry this I meant to plug this up and I forgot it it runs my bathroom plug is over on the wall next to the sink so I do use an appliance cord for this cord. I do strongly recommend if you get one of these and you put it in your bathtub like I have it, be very, very, very careful and mindful about the water that drains out number one and have something to catch the debris because there's going to be. Okay, in my case, I have a lot of hair, both from myself, my cats, etc. Um, so be very mindful because it's going down your drain if you don't have something to catch it. It does have a filter inside it, but it will come out of your drain. Your normal washers and dryers are designed to handle that, that are hooked into your wall. And you can also use, hang on, totally didn't completely prepare for this. You can also use these. I ordered them off of Amazon. I believe they come from China. Not sure that it takes forever for them to get here. Um, this I ordered four. This is the last one standing. <laughs> I had two in my big washer and two in my small washer. And this one we just happened to find in my small washer before my husband put it out on the curb on trash day. We had hoped that somebody would be able to take it and use it. If you hear noise in the background, it's a little man. It is what it is. But we're gonna, I'm going to lift you up. And I apologize if you see uh, the crayon. This is washable crayon back here on the wall. We have fun when it's bath time. It is what it is. But I want you to see. These are the knobs. This is your wash time. This is your spin time. As the other one did, there's two separate compartments. This one. Okay. And this one, which has my, we're going to leave that alone. It has my dirty wash rags in it. Now, the one thing that this one has that the other one didn't have, and I love this because I wash my leggings and things of that nature in this washer. This has a soft cycle, which is like a delicate cycle. So I love, love, love that it has this. Um, as you can see also, it has hoses for a water inlet where the water will drain directly into the washer, washing tub. I'm trying to get you there. I'm sorry. Um, I don't use it. I just use my shower head. And I'll just show you real quickly because it's going to be really loud, so I don't want to do it for very long. Let me just see. That's the noise that you get to hear. And the agitation goes seven minutes. I'm sorry, there's my hand in the way again. Um, the agitation goes seven seconds one way, seven seconds the other way. We're going to turn that off. Um, and it's that's it. You do have to, you know, um, what, I, what I like to do is put them in the spinner and spin out all the water then put them back in here before and rinse them with fresh water and I use I use white vinegar guys I use white vinegar and a little bit of snuggle um, and it works beautifully for me if you don't like the smell of white vinegar which excuse me I'm sorry it dissipates um, while as your clothes dry um, but it does it just works wonderful wonders for me and as you can see with the hydrogen peroxide i i like to use a lot more natural things and i really feel like i should be doing this although that puts me at a really awkward angle so yeah um but let's just i'm gonna move you again and i'm sorry i know this is kind of not the best um but doing the best i have with what i have nope that doesn't work so anyway, but um, the one thing that I did learn more than when I had the other one was the importance of using this. Um, I was putting it just on top of the clothes, 
but if you use it to press down on the clothes before you spin them, it, it starts getting the excess water out of your clothes. I didn't read the manual completely, so I didn't know. Um, my bad. Um, anyway, if you have, like in my instance, I have chronic pain, I have back problems, migraine, all kinds of neato stuff. But if you have issues like this, I, re I recommend this washer because it makes my life easier. It helps me keep be caught up on things that might be a little bit harder for me to catch up on ordinarily. So I really, really want to take this opportunity long overdue to thank my friends. Um, I will publicly tell you that, the, that you know, They were, are some nice people, uh, and um, I appreciate that they chose to bless me with the replacement washer. Um, I don't want to take, I, I don't, I, I wish they would have done it for somebody else, because that's just how I am. Um, there are other people in greater need than I am, and they know that. They, they fought with me to get it for me. But I'm thankful for them for getting it for me. Um, so, anyway, other than, you know, I can't give you, it, it gets really loud. Um, but I'm going to, this has been soaking for a while. Um, I'm going to let this water out, refill it, and be on my, with my day. I thank you for stopping by. Uh, remember, I'm the mayor's daughter. And... From Remnant Urban Homestead, we thank you for stopping by. We love you oh so very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I apologize for the arms being in the, it's the best I got right now. See you, bye. <laughs>